Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about just a new functionality in Notebook LM, one of my favorite go-to tools to organize all of my work, my files, websites, collect information. So if you're interested in just coming to explore with me, then please keep on watching. Okay, so Notebook LM recently released um, discover sources. So yes, you can add your own sources here. So in case you haven't used Notebook LM before, you can add, uh, you can connect your Google Drive and add Google Docs, Google Slides, any website, YouTube, or you can copy your own text. And then basically you can interact with the sources that you put in and you can ask questions, distill information, and there's a source limit of 50. So I've discussed this in other videos. But you'll notice here in the top right corner there's Discover Sources. So let's have a little play around with this. What am I interested in? Okay, so everyone knows that I'm interested in AIPAD pedagogy, so let me turn my dictate to text on. AI-powered pedagogy and also the latest news on AI advancements in terms of education and who is focusing more on teaching and learning and then using AI tools to serve education rather than the other way around. So that's just areas I'm interested in. Let's see what they come up with. All right, let's discover the sources. And while we're discovering all the sources, I want to remind everyone that Notebook LM is free. But however, I'm based in Hong Kong and I actually do have to put a VPN on. All right, so let's have a look at some of the articles. AI versus pedagogy. Who's leading the future? Oh, that's an interesting one. I'm going to keep that ticked. Artificial intelligence and the future of teaching. All right, I'm going to keep that ticked. Oh, all of these are pretty interesting. Use of AI in schools, 25 case studies. All right, 2025. Here are five AI trends. Okay, I'm just going to look at all of them, actually. Generative AI in the future, that's the UNESCO. I'm going to import all of them and then move myself over here, make myself smaller so I'm not in the way. And let's just interact with this. Well, first of all, Notebook LM is going to come up with a summary of all 10 of these different sources once they've been uploaded. And while we're waiting for that, if this is your first time on Notebook LM, it will generate a study guide, a briefing doc, a timeline, um, some you know FAQs as well. And also here, in terms of the podcast, we now have so many languages. So it says create an overview in more languages, learn more. Okay, so let's just go off here for a little, for a quick, like here is the audio overview and we can check like different languages. Okay, here are the supported languages here. Mm, nice, okay. It's nice to give people more access to this. All right, let's just go back to my notebook LM which is over here. And then it says, these sources discuss the increasing integration of AI, exploring potential benefits and challenges. They highlight how AI can personalize learning, enhance engagement and improve academic performance through the use of data-driven models, etc. Okay, so let's unselect these. And I want to actually interact, there was this one, AI versus pedagogy. This is a really interesting one. So. So this source is about the evolving relationship between AI and pedagogy. And we can actually look at the original document. So we open a new tab and I always recommend looking at the original sources. Don't just take whatever is generated as facts. We have to be really discerning and we have to actually have a look at the actual article. So how can AI supercharge traditional teaching methods? Is that what we really want to do, though? We want to actually redefine. On the other hand, there's an optimistic view that AI offers an unprecedented opportunity to revelize education. I couldn't agree with this more. So really interesting article, The Limits of AI and the Strength of Pedagogy. Okay. And reconciling the two perspectives. So I don't think that they are necessarily at odds. You know, we can harmonize AI principles with good pedagogical principles. And my belief is that AI should be serving good, effective pedagogy, such as inquiry-based learning and concept-based learning. Okay, so that was that article. If we go back here, so that was just me having a look at this particular one, giving me a summary. And if I close this, then I can go back to all of the other 
uh, sources here. Let's just look at one more. Um, we, I talk a lot about ethical considerations, so I think I'm going, what about AI and creativity? I love that topic. So this one, it's an article, The Pedagogy of Wonder in Business Education to Leverage Artificial Intelligence. So let's just go directly to the article. I always like to have a little cross-check. AI and creativity, a pedagogy of wonder. When we spark our students' curiosity about the possibilities of artificial intelligence, we inspire them to use the technology to its fullest potential. Okay, so that's an interesting article that I'm going to save to read. But coming back here, basically what I want to emphasize is discovering sources now from the web is going to really elevate the power of Notebook LM. Okay, so you could just see with just a simple prompt where I talked about AI-powered pedagogy, all of these wonderful sources came up. I'm still going to put the caveat that we need to be concerning, we need to cross-check with the sources, we need to be clicking on, reading the actual articles, maybe just skimming to ensure that there's no hallucinations or a lot of people are calling it confabulations now. Or I love the term a mirage, you know, AI tools actually create this mirage that makes us think it's true based on the data that it's given. But this is a wonderful new functionality, being able to discover sources. And of course, I quickly jumped into the language accessibility as well. So thank you so much, Notebook LM. You are one of my go-to tools. Uh, another time I'm going to talk about how I actually used it to collate all of the planning documents, professional learning opportunities, uh, notes from meetings for a school partnership, and then what I did with that. So thank you once again, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.